My name is Jane Camp. I'm a professor of art too. Um, and I've been working for Heartland since 1994, actually. So long time. Um, this isn't the only place I've taught, Richland Community College, Tennessee State, ISU, but um, I landed here, which I love, and um, you know, I teach a variety of two-dimensional courses. So I do drawing, sometimes I used to do painting, not anymore, Max taking that on because I can't um, squeeze everything in. Uh, Photography is my love, for sure, 2D design. and. Um, Mainly what we do here at Heartland is prepare students for art degrees to go on to four-year schools and or, since we're a community college, the whole community part, allow people to take art classes where you couldn't at ISU, you'd have to be an art major. So I'm really kind of focused on that a lot. Um, and I'm teaching night courses now in the fall so that we can get more community members here. always been drawing. I don't know if you become an artist or if you just are one. <laughs> I think that, you know, I had a little creative soul. I was making stuff as a kid, but, um, you know, in the 80s, you always wanted to pursue your talent, and I was a good drafts person and painter. Um, not so much photography in my early career, and uh, got a scholarship to Illinois Wesleyan University and went there, and it just, you know, kind of fueled my desire to make art, which is somewhat nonsensical making art in the 21st century, but I love it nonetheless. <laughs> so, yeah. Other artists, for sure, you know, and that's what I provide in my class as well. Um, sometimes I was just talking to my 2D design students about this. How do you figure out how to be more creative? is you look at other people's work. And, you know, seeing it in the real is more important than just seeing it through PowerPoint. So if you can get to the Art Institute or any museum, it's more important. But um, not only that, but my colleagues as well. You know, I see them crack lacking, making work, you know, doing interesting things. And it's, it's very inspiring. So. Oh, boy. You know, I mean, that's... It's like, well, who's your favorite musician? Hmm, I, <laughs> that one's too tough, you know, uh, for me. You know, I love Maggie Taylor. She's uh, more of a photographer, illustrator right now, you know, probably my current flavor. But, you know, I've always loved the classics of Matisse, um, Helen Frankenthaler, you know, all kinds of different artists. I actually like almost everything. I'm not a big conceptual person. I mean, I understand it. I appreciate the ideas behind it, but I like visually rich imagery. So, you know, I'm really attracted to color. So, uh, and although we're teaching a black and white photography class in here, I love color, but. I would say that I was copying things you know, in high school. Making art, you know, I mean, certainly a four-year school, you start to try to make art. When I really think I made art <laughs> was probably grad school more, you know, I was stumbling along. I was having uh, one of my, our former colleagues, Ella J. Douglas, called them art experiences before that. Yeah, I had a lot of art experiences, but making art, you know, that was a little bit more challenging to get to that like in communication, you know, to really communicate, to say something soulful is, it's, it comes later, you know, I think in your life as you study. Oh, well, if you're talking about photography, and I still like darkroom, I do digital too. So part of my sabbatical was, is I took 10 different cameras around the Great Lakes and wanted to show how cameras interpret things differently. You know, people think photography is the truth, but it's still 
I, I know people in Photoshop manipulate that, but um, so film wise, you go out, take the film, you know, so you get a good several hours probably doing that. You come in, develop, that's another hour to actually print, you know, three, four hours at least. And even then, sometimes you're just not satisfied or I go in and hand color a lot of my work or, you know, do other things to it. So. Well, I have got an exhibition coming up in January at the McLean County uh, Art Centers. So it opens um, January 12th, uh, but I just completed a book. Uh, so of my my um, sabbatical, this is my first edition of this book. I've done other photo photographic books before, but this one is really kind of showing the concept of my sabbatical. And um, I'm actually my next sabbatical. I'm going to kind of do the same thing and build off of this. I'll probably just go with my most current memory is um, I was at Point Pelee in Canada um, photographing Lake Erie and it was just something magical where these two kind of the the there was a peninsula where two types of that lake were meeting where you could almost walk out on water and so I had my view camera with me and other cameras with me and it just it was something so magical about the whole experience um, photographing it and being there. Um, I want to definitely go back in a different season. It was just amazing. We are in the Heartland Community College dark room um, with uh, our bank of enlargers here in which students use. Um, currently, the white light is on. This is not what it looks like when you work in it, it, there's an amber or red light, so I'm not sure you could film underneath that. <laughs> but um, this is where we make what you call gelatin silver prints. It's the historic way of creating a photo with film, analog, and uh, making a print. And I happen to bring just an analog print so that you could see what that <clears throat> might look like. So this is one from my Great Lakes series, and there's actually silver that's in the paper that's different than printing, uh, making an archival print. We do do that here in photo one and two, we're doing darkroom and digital. So we do everything archivally, trying to um, make sure, because it's art, it's art 180, art 280 for photography, making something artful that will last. Um, but there's real silver in the paper, and it's just magical. Your, your picture pulls up in the tray, you know, after you've spent all this time taking the photo, you know, uh, developing the film, and then all of a sudden you put it in the de developer. It's the most magical thing. It really is. I am Jane Camp, professor of Art II here at Heartland Community College, teaching a variety of two-dimensional classes, but photography, that's where we're in the darkroom. 2D design and drawing currently.